He is ass. <laughs> he is ass. Let's his offense off. As of right now, keeping a safe distance, but at the same time, trying to put pressure on Shakur. In a night that will be remembered for years to come, Shakur Stevenson showcased his talent, securing a decisive victory that left a lot of his fans talking, well, at least the ones who stayed till the end of the fight. So the exchange was, I know you want a knockout, but he's just trying to survive. Right? Short right hand up top, and then he splits the guard. Then he finishes down to the body. He's in there fighting. Known for his incredible skill and composure, Stevenson's performance has left a number of reactions from some of the most notable figures in the lightweight division and beyond. Gervonta Davis, one of the most feared punchers in the division, had nothing but the perfect jabs for Stevenson's performance. He is ass. <laughs> he is ass. Davis and Shakur have been throwing words at each other for some time now, but it seems that was a little left behind when Gervonta reacted. Say, man, look, man. Your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sitting here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Shakur showed again why he can't be on top. You saw people leaving. This time I'm not even saying it. You saw it. He just doesn't box, Tank said in a post-fight interview. But he was smart, he was sharp, and he didn't let the pressure get to him. It's not easy to do what he did tonight, especially against a tough opponent. In the chin, in boxing ability, capability, in role athleticism, Tank is explosive, he has a high boxing IQ, he's a southpaw, he punches fucking like no- Davis, who is known for his knockout power, appreciated the tactical approach Stevenson used. However, he didn't let his comments go without a touch of his ego. 
Yeah, he's one of the skilled ones, but I'm the best here. Congrats to him, but sometimes he should keep his mouth shut. He the best at... He didn't even fight at 135 yet. Right. He didn't even, he didn't even have power at 126, 30, or none of that. He is good. Okay. How can you... All that's just okay. How can you stop people that can actually hit? No matter all that boxing, you're going to get hit. What you going to do when you get hit? Ryan Garcia, who is currently facing some hard times of his own, also weighed in on the fight. Shakur made it look easy out there. Frank Martin had a tough job against Artem and Shakur kept his cool, Garcia said. I remember you fought Ryan in the amateurs. Yeah, yeah, I fought Ryan back in the day. What do you remember from the fight? See, the thing is, Ryan went on the interview and said we had like a close fight. Um, I disagree with him, I thought it was kind of easy for me. But um, Ryan taller, he longer, and uh, he been around, so Ryan got a lot of um, boxing experience. Yeah, he controlled the pace, used his jab effectively, and his defense was on point. He's got a bright future ahead of him, but not past me. These other fighters, but what's your take on Shakur Stevenson and a possible matchup with him down the road? Uh, yeah, I haven't really um, been watching his career that much. Uh, he had a couple of good wins, right? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that matchup would be great. Uh, Southpaw? Southpaw. Garcia who has been vocal about wanting to fight the best in the division, hinted at a potential future clash. Tell him to get in the ring with me. Maybe he can be a little more entertaining when I sit him down too. Me and Shakur got unfinished business though. If he wants, he can face me when I'm back. I'm giving him a head start. Floyd Mayweather, who has been part of Shakur's journey from the ring, had a keen eye on Stevenson's performance. Shakur fought a smart fight, Mayweather commented in a press release. He reminded me of myself in there, sticking to the fundamentals and making his opponent miss. It's the sweet science at its finest. Mayweather, who has mentored many young fighters, praised Stevenson's discipline and work ethic. He's been working hard, staying focused, and it's paying off. I see a lot of myself in him, and if he keeps this up, he'll go down as one of the greats. Yo, that's, that's dope. I got Floyd to come to a top rank fight. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> what did he say? Then there was Errol. Errol Spence Jr. has not been silent in recent days about Shakur. What do you tell uh, Spence tonight? You spoke to somebody like that? I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. He put it all on the line tonight, so I got nothing but Shakur. I didn't know I was. He also had high praise for Stevenson. Shakur is a special talent, Spence said in an interview with ESPN. He dominated from start to finish. His defense was amazing, and his IQ was off the charts, and he makes it look easy. You can tell he's put in the work and it's showing. Be the aggressive, throwing a lot of punches. But Bug might be the aggressive too, so you never know like what style Bug gonna come with. But it's gonna make for an amazing fight with both of them. Spence, who is known for his own technical prowess, appreciated the subtle nuances of Stevenson's performance. It's the little things he does, the feints, the footwork, the timing. He's got a complete package and he's going to be a problem for anyone in the division. For those who say the fight was boring, Ayo man, what matters is that win. Shakur is still undefeated. Devin Haney, another rising star in the lightweight division, had a lot to say about the fight. Hey, for now, bro. For now. Shakur did his thing tonight, Haney stated in a post-fight press conference. He was in control the whole time and didn't let his opponent get into any rhythm. That's what you have to do at this level. Champ, you're on the same side of the street, I'm dead. Man. I don't get that, man. Haney, who has expressed interest in fighting Stevenson in the future, acknowledged the challenge. It's clear that Shakur is one of the top guys in the division. A fight between us would be huge, and I'm ready to give him his first loss whenever he is ready. But for now, hats off to him for the win. I mean, you know niggas, you, when you around niggas and you get to train with them and 
see them. Like, I've seen Devin train, and I done trained with him, like, the way he run. Or, like, you know when it's a nigga with heart. It's a lot of niggas that be bitching. But it got even more interesting with Teofimo Lopez coming in. Teofimo Lopez, the former unified lightweight champion, also shared his thoughts. That was boring, man. Sure he did win, but this could have gone way better. I had this urge to just get in there and knock him out both, Lopez said. He's got the skills, the smarts, and the determination. He outclassed his opponent and made a statement. Lopez, known for his explosive style, recognized the strategic brilliance of Stevenson's approach. It's one thing to have the skills, but it's another to use them effectively in the ring. Shakur did that tonight. He was good, but it could have been better if we're being honest. But it doesn't end with Teofimo. Vasily Lomachenko, widely regarded as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters, had high praise for Stevenson. Shakur boxed beautifully, Lomachenko said in an interview with Sky Sports. He showed great movement, timing, and precision. It was a masterclass performance. Lomachenko had already predicted that Shakur would win the fight, so this played out by his word. Lomachenko, who has faced many of the top names in the division, appreciated the technical mastery on display. He made very few mistakes and took advantage of every opportunity. That's what great fighters do. Shakur has a very bright future in this sport. And then there was Oscar De La Hoya, the legendary fighter and promoter. Since the fight was announced, De La Hoya has been another figure who has been backing up Shakur. And right after the win, he shared his admiration for Stevenson. Shakur put on a clinic tonight, De La Hoya remarked in a Golden Boy Promotions press release. He showed why he's one of the most talented young fighters in the sport. His performance was flawless. However, I don't think he would take down Tank. De La Hoya, who has been involved in promoting many of today's top fighters, emphasized the importance of Stevenson's win. This victory now cements his status as a top contender in the lightweight division. He's got all the tools to be bigger than that. And still, WBC lightweight champion of the world, Shakur Stevenson! But it doesn't end with De La Hoya either. Mikey Garcia, a four-division world champion, was also impressed by Stevenson's display. Shakur showed us a very smart fight, Garcia said in an interview with Boxing Scene. He didn't take unnecessary risks and executed his game plan perfectly. That's what it takes to win at this level. Garcia, who has shared the ring with some of the best fighters in the world, acknowledged the significance of the win. Beating a tough opponent like that is never easy, but Shakur made it look that way. He's got a bright future ahead of him. If he just puts in a little show, he could be great. The head of Shakur, he wants to go downstairs to be able to land his right hand. And eventually he's going to come up with the left hook. And I anticipate also, Tess, a level... Sean Porter, the former welterweight champion who had already expressed support for Shakur before his fight, praised Stevenson's performance. Shakur showed he's the real deal, Porter said during a broadcast on Showtime. He controlled the fight from start to finish. It might have been a little boring, as they say, but he was trying to study his opponent. Porter, who has fought many of the top names in his own division, appreciated the mental toughness Stevenson displayed. It's one thing to have the physical skills, but you also need the mental strength to stay focused and execute your game plan. Shakur did that tonight, and it paid off. Well, what do you think about the outcome of the fight? Do you think it was well-deserved? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more updates. See you in the next one.